So I've got the wrap. I'm just going to start marking out where it's going to go. And I'll finish the wrap probably 30 millimeters below the bottom plate. And the reason for that is I actually want to put some uh, polyurethane sealant on, on this concrete and stick the wrap to the concrete. So I'll stop any air movement going under the bottom plate. Uh, it, it, it's, it's worth doing just because you, you do this once, you do it right. So what I'll do first, this is 1500 tall. I'll measure on either side from the bottom plate. I'll measure 1470. And I'll come to this side and I'll do the same. So that just means I've got 30 millimeters overhang on the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use like a three point method. And it should be able to do at least the bottom piece by myself. So one, once I've got these two marks, I'm going to use this three point method to, or a triangulation method to actually fix it. And you can do it by yourself. Uh, so what I'll start with, I'll take my gun, I'll take the stapler and I'll puff. I'll try and get that somewhere near level. I'll pop three or four staples in that corner. Then I'll unravel this all the way to the other side. I'll run it out to this end. I'll leave some spare and lean it there. And then I'll pull that nice and tight, or not too tight, so I don't when I pull it, the top will start pulling up. I don't want to pull, make it so there's too much of a round in the top. And I'll do the same at this end, three or four staples. Now that's got that nice and, the, the top's nice and tight there. So once I've got the two ends done, what I want to try and do is, is form a V coming down here. And so when, when I pull the, pull the bottom, you'll see this, this V's formed in the fabric. So that's when it's nice and tight to shoot it on. But what I'll do first before that, I can see this penetration here, the pipe. I can try and cut around it. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to put a grommet on that later. So I'll put a couple of, one or two staples in there. Then I'll come across to this end. And while I'm pulling that down, we've got three pipe penetrations here. So we'll do the same, we'll cut around these. Again, we're going to put grommets on that afterwards, so we don't need, need to spend too much care on that. So now I'll pull this side nice and tight. Staple that up. And come across to the far corner. While I'm putting the staples in, I'll just pull a little bit of tension on the fabric and just pop the staple in there. And then go across all the top. And then finish off down the bottom. And come back to the left hand side. And I'll come down the middles and we'll pop some on the studs there. So depending on how many staples you use, depends on what you're going to do on the outside. If you're going to just do it in a cavity, you might want to put more staples in. But if you're going to put cladding on and you're going to put battens on straight away, you don't need to put many staples in because the battens is going to stop the wind blowing the fabric off. So you might have noticed uh, a couple of things here. One, we are working in the garage space at the minute. But as far as we're concerned with this wrap and the insulation that's here, 
This is a thermal envelope, the, the garage wall. So it's not the external wall. You, there's no point insulating that. This is the thermal envelope. And it's quite often forgotten. There's no insulation put in these. The other thing you might notice, we've got the insulation in, in these little voids here on, on all the wall junctions. And, and that's simply to stop the thermal bridge effect. So we've got, you know, the, the timber itself is some form of insulation. And if we don't have this in, we're just gonna, the, gonna have more heat flow or heat loss going inside to outside, depending on the climate, summer or winter. So this is why you should always do this. And also on the external corners of the house, you should also put insulation on the very external corner, even while you're standing the frame. If you, uh, and that's particularly true if you've got brace board on the outside. Otherwise, when you put the thermal image camera on, when it's finished, you'll have a big dark spot going down and a big thermal bridge. And internal corners are big problems for damp and mold. And that a lot of that is to do with no insulation. That's, off, that's uh, often forgotten when it's in the build process.